A lot of us are concerned about lead in our food products and I was just talking about in the previous video. So what actually happens when lead accumulates in the body? It puts it in tissues and so it's not easily accessible to the bloodstream. But then slowly but surely it leaches out into the circulation and does its damage. Not only to the tissues that it's uh, being stored in, but then to the general circulation. So lead interferes with minerals. So our minerals and lead, they're somewhat similar as far as their electron configuration. So they actually get confused. So lead will interfere with our calcium, our magnesium, and our zinc. So it damages the kidneys, the immune system, the bones, and the nervous system. It also is an endocrine disruptor, so it can disrupt our sex hormones as well. And the danger is greatest for those who are pregnant and for young children as their brains are still developing. Lead can weaken your immune system and it can lower your blood counts. So if you're feeling tired, you're feeling foggy, you know, it may be lead that's getting in your system from your foods and or your environment. So in my next video, I'll be talking about how to test for and to get the lead out of your body. So stay tuned. And if you have any questions or have any comments, please leave them below.